and we're back. Uh, the very last one, Dad, if you put some books into your research table. Books? Yeah, yeah and you should get uh, cognici Cognitio, which will then finish your thermometer, thermometer. And that says, you believe this mystical device will point you in the direction of nearby sources of mystical energy. And basically yeah. what that does is, is once you make one, if you hold it in your hand, it will navigate you to where your nearest node is. No. So say if it's underground, it will navigate you to where it is. So it it's another way of instead of having to use your goggles you and can the, no, the node does what exactly for me the node is what gives you aura to use your um cauldron yeah right charge your wands up and stuff or yeah is that just naturally in the air that there's no that's it does charge your wands up from the uh, aura and you get your magical energy from the auras which are the nodes so we've got that one. Now, da, 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 is it this? if you put your V shards in again, boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, da, 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 what have I got with construct on it? Enchanted fabric. Yep, and. Once you've filled up your yeah, it's filled. Aren't yeah, it? get some string. A good string. And then fill that one up. Wool. Uh, wool should do it if you've not got string. No, I've, I've got string. Oh right, so okay. It'd be the string or wool and so. Yeah, I don't think it. Either one would work. Um, yeah, I've just checked wool. Either one would have worked. Yeah, that, right. Now it says anvil. Create, construct, work, fabrico. Yeah, I'm pretty sure workbenches. Yeah, workbenches have that. Old so workbench. if you make like two or three workbenches to start with, yeah. and then put them in there. And then I only got mine to fifty percent close. There we go, and I finished that one. Yep. And took five. It took me four. And this one says, you have created a simple but strong fabric from wool and spider silk. You are sure you can infuse it with magic somehow to create a wonderful crafting component. So if you're looking at Thermonomicon now, the only thing we have left to research in order to get that blacked out circle is yeah. the, these are the tables you know when you uh, have the yeah. two by two crafting table yeah yeah um so we should be able to get these if we start with v shards again and is it yes magical building blocks oh that went instantly to 100 percent yeah unknown theory still yeah and now put and some cobble so into there Yeah, and you should have the Saxon fill up. Yeah, that's full. Stone rock, hundred percent complete. Okay, now put some iron in there to get metallum. I keep putting it all back in the chest because I don't want me. 
yeah, you don't want your inventory getting full. <laughs> it's not so bad for me. I've got them all in bags. It just takes me a bit longer to find it. Yeah, that's um, done. There's okay. Still two left on so that. now you've got your wand, your rock, and your metal, yeah? Your metal, uh, yeah, metal. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Right. Yeah, yeah, got that. Um, you want to make uh, put some wooden logs in, and that should give you like a tree looking. It's called li lignum. <coughs> yeah, got that. Okay, now once that's a hundred, you should see you now need fabrico. Should be the last one, like an anvil looking one. Yeah, back in with a string, yeah. Uh, no, that one oh, is no, yeah, crafting that's, tables. Uh, crafting tables. Yeah. More crafting tables. And then this one says, You have been studying ways to combine stone, wood and metals to create building materials suitable for the crafting of mystical objects and constructs. So that is the last. That will give you two achievements. So you'll now have basic artifacting, uh, artifacting, Facing, I think. And eating, you missed a couple. Crafting tables, yeah. yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure this next one is horrible. Yeah, magical building blocks. This, now, um, this one's not quite the horrible. Now flashing up some square with points on it. Come. Yeah, right. You want to start off with some V-shards. Yeah. And then... Once you've done V-shards, put some books in. Now, I think this might be the one that takes, like, I think ten different things. And it took me hours to right. originally so far figure I've out. So up magic, aqua, cognito, learning, knowledge, inquiry. So we'll keep clicking the books, do I, for that? Yep, yeah, keep clicking, and then once all three of them are a hundred. Yeah, they're all a hundred. Alright. Research um, unified thormic field theory. Yep, yeah. now you want to get some coal. And that should give you Ignis. Yes, got that. Alright. And then once you've got Ignis, uh, put some... You've got some feathers, haven't you? Got some feathers, yeah. Alright, so put some feathers in. And... Oh. Yeah, now I've got aura, wind. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm stuck on the last two again. We've got wind, fire, water. Surely there must be earth in here somewhere. Yeah. yeah, there should be, I think. That's what I was trying to look for in my bags. Right, Earth is, uh, well, you'll be able to tell, it's got like a clouds with a ground underneath it. I've used sand, but it should be on dirt as well. 
Go and get some dirt and run to help me. No, no, Peter. Hang on. Two seconds. And the last one is... Mutatio. What? I'm sure I had something in my inventory that had Mutatio. Mutatio, Mutatio. Where did I see that one? Mutatio is Flux and Chaos. Sorting systems coping with that quarry quite well down there. Yeah. Why can't I find where I put mutation? Golem. Earth is, yeah? Uh. Yeah. Yeah, so. Oh, there we go. Golem's uh, full and it's come up with mutatio, flux, chaos. Yeah. Have you got nether wart? Yeah, so I've got plenty of nether wart. I'll go and get some. Okay, because uh, I've just remembered the reason why I picked nether wart up was it's the only thing at the minute that actually has mutatio on it. You can only get it from nether wart. But apparently that's supposed to be changing. This wasn't oh. even the really difficult one. There's one that takes like 20. I'll bring <laughs> two out the uh, barrel I've got. <laughs> so this is Unified Thormic Field Theory. You may be onto something here. For the moment it lies just outside your grasp. But you are beginning to see how the mag magical element and natural worlds all fit together. Knowledge like this could prove invaluable. So then once you've learnt that, it gives you access to everything below it. Which is a lot of stuff, because there's a lot of hidden stuff that you don't actually see. Now, I know for a fact the easiest ones to go for, like to start with to get them out of the way, Just chuck some of this stuff back into my bags. Oh, you picked great wood logs. Is there a reason for that? Hmm. Pick me great wood and me uh, silver wood logs. Yeah, you need them later on. Uh, they have. Well, no, they're a source of magic. There was. I had an. I found a use for the silver wood ones that saved me out on something later on. <coughs> I think it was uh, silver wood instead of diamonds. Right. So, have you got that one done? Yeah. And it's just unlocked a load of wands by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, but if you go further down, you'll see there's a golem one and a jar. Yeah, a golem, a jar. Yeah, and there's also some hidden ones off the sides that you can't see. Okay. So the easiest way to start is to put some levers in. And then some cobble. And that, oh, this one started in the Infernal Furnace for me. Not exactly what I was after, but good enough nonetheless. The Infernal Furnace, that's what I've got. Okie dokie. Uh, so, I believe we're going to need. Uh, let's see. Where did I put the chests? I think we need chests for this one. Yeah, they're both full. Nope, not chests. 
Uh, put some coal in and you'll get Ignis. It's not windy though. Right, you got your Ignis? Yeah, that was 100%. All right. It's three obscured. Yeah, now put some V shards in and you'll get your Precantatio. Yeah, got that. Right, and now you want Soul Sand to get the last two, which are Animus. <coughs> and vinculum and that's that one finished so the infernal furnace says the element creatures elemental creatures that frequent the nether known as blazes seem like they would make perfect sources of heat if only they can be harnessed properly. So the reason why it brings blazes into it, because even though you don't need an actual blaze to make it, when you destroy it, because it's a um, multi-block structure, so you have to actually lay it out in the world and then hit it with your wand, it makes, yeah? But if you destroy it, a blaze spawns in the middle. <coughs> So we'll start with levers again when you've done that. Yeah. And it should give you golemancy. Alright, so after levers you want, uh, I think feathers give the right one, no, not feathers, I thought feathers would, where are we, oh, that's why, the wrong one, um, quick silver, and it'll give you one that looks like, uh, yeah, it's called motors for movement. And then we want soul sand again, I believe, if I remember correctly. For animus. And then some food to get the food one, which is just a little apple. Oh, this takes a lot. What, a lot of research? No, oh, a lot of quicksilver. Oh, right, yeah. Gandhi. 20 pieces just gone there. 20. Soul sand. Yep. Food. To get your animus, and then food to get your vicius up. Victus, sorry. Golomancy says, your studies into animation, motion and living creatures is beginning to bear fruit. You are sure if it can, if you can harness this power, you should be able to create and control your own magical servants. So that's starting the uh, Golem research, isn't it? Yeah, got that. Right. And in case you haven't guessed, put levers in again to start with. <laughs> All golems start with levers because it's it imp imp imperito imperito, which is control, command, and dominate. But then you've got to yeah. kind of guess got as that. to which one it's giving you. So put cobble in, and see if you get saxon. 
is what you need, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's that some, yeah. Alright. And then you want uh some more quicksilver to get motus. Doing your tato. Hmm? Doing your tato next. Yep, permutatio. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, seeds. <laughs> and that should give you the stone golem worker. While studying the properties of stone, you think you may have found a way to apply the principles you have learnt to golems. The result may be may be a golem capable of carrying loads to and from containers. So golem are the the stone one are very basic. Yep. So once you've done that one you want to start with levers again. And let's go with this one. Yep, and then put a uh, quick silver in, and it should give you vizzle. Maybe. I mean, this can go in multiple yeah. ways. So. Vizzle, yes. Uh, is this giving you the golem animation core perception? Yep. Right. Okay. Once you've got yep. the vizzle to hundred, you want to put seeds in. And this is you may believe you you believe you will be able to modify the basic golem core, enabling you to create and control golems that are much more perceptive than the norm. Uh, that allows them to like detect things from a long longer range. So, say for example, like a uh, stone one that said it can move stuff in and out of inventories. Yeah. It allows them to spot stuff that are like on the floor from a longer distance. Right. So, we want to put levers in again. This is why we made so many levers, by the way. Mm. Okay. And then put seeds in, and it should take that up. Take it one of these, we're going to have to use like zombie brains, are we? To give it brain? Uh. Zombie brains can be used for that, yeah. But books can also be used. Cognito is the one that's like knowledge. So yeah, is this is this giving you Gollum Animation Core Intelligence? Um, yes, that's the one. Right, now put books in. And that should give you the last of the three that you need. And this is much the same as the last one. You believe you will be able to modify the basic golem core, enabling you to create and control golems that are much smarter than the norm. Yep. So again, we want to go back to levers. And then seeds. This one's asking for a clay golem worker. So we're going to need Quicksilver for movement, for Motus. And I think I brought some clay specifically so that I knew what it oh, yeah. used. But I don't think... Oh yeah. Water and Earth, okay. I don't have any clay. No, I only brought clay with me to see what the um, things were that it would have. So if you've got if you've got um the solemn what you used for solemn earlier for earth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So put that in. 
and that will finish the clay one. Oh, I forgot to read that one. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Clay golem worker. Uh, now, just to branch off from there for a minute, because we need to find another research before we do all the golems. If you start with coal, it should pick Ignis out. And then put cobble in for Fractus. Alright, we're gonna have to go down and get some more cobble and down to two pieces. Yeah, I've got some cobble, I'll chuck it at you. Oh, it's alright, I'm not gonna get a stack. I was gonna say, I've got like eight stacks on me. <laughs> and then this one's uh, this one's gonna be gunpowder. That I haven't got a lot of. Well, no, this is uh, not next, that's not what you need to use. This is transmutation for gunpowder. Alright. Since alimentum has such explosive properties, Maybe you can harness some of what you have learnt to create something more mundane, but just as explosive. So that that gives you the ability to transmute stuff into, like to make gunpowder from nothing. So then once you've done them two, you put seeds in for your trade. And it should be them three, four will give you the gunpowder script, yeah? <coughs> yeah, gunpowder. Oh, this one's giving me the wrong one now. If you put coal in again, and for me it's picked potentia out. This is for the uh, golem core for strength. <coughs> coal. Yeah, potentia. Yeah, so once you've filled that up, you want to put levers in. Because this is another golem core. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that's Sorry. opened up exchange again, so more seeds. Yeah. And that gives us golem core. At Golem Animation Core Strength. Yeah. So, I'm just going to try see this one again. Right, so I'm going to take that. Uh, I've just put coal in again and it pulled out Saxum, so start with Cobble. What's this one trying to make me do? Oh, Wand of Excavation. Is what I've got. Yeah, Wand of Excavation. We've been awful lucky on these hmm. matching, matching up, up tonight. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't expect it was going to. So, once you've got that, you need V shards for your precantatio. Some iron for metallum, and then you can just use flint for the tool one. But you've picked some tools up that you can use, aren't you? Something. Yeah, I found a lot of steel pickaxes. <coughs> a logical step in your exploration <laughs> of magic would be to find a way to utilize it as a mining tool. Studying earth moving and mining tools you should show you the way. So this is just a wand you to uh it uses I think it's got a durability bar. So the the wand can be destroyed the more times you use it. But it allows you to dig holes into ground and 
rock, stuff like that. Um, I think I'm using the wrong thing. Uh, I think I need torches. Torches? Yeah, I've got torches. I think I do, I just I need to double check it. Um, go away. Nearly out of seeds, do you want to go get some more? You can do. Love these long wall boots. Well, I'm positive it's not torches, even though I wasn't that bothered. Oh, Ignis in one go, fucking hell. That's what I was after, magic tallow. Like this. I'm going to have to set myself a book up to teleport me back up here. Teleport around. Yeah. Right, where do you want me to start now? Um, if you put coal in. Coal? Oh. Yeah, it should hopefully give you the Ignis one. Yeah, straight up Ignis, 100%. Yeah, and it should be magic, magic tallow. tallow. Yeah. Now you can use rotten flesh, and it'll get you that next one. Clear enough. And then that's magic tallow. By processing and heating flesh in the crucible, you believe you can create a mystical tallow suited for many arcane uses. And that's how you can make the. Um, you know them funky coloured torches, candles. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what you use to make them. I've got some uh, candles. Oh, torches, yeah. Oh. Yeah, the the actual Sorry, yeah. candle ones with the proper wax and everything. Yeah, I've got them. Um, Found a few. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? Oh, funny enough, this one's now just give us the tallow worker. If you start with levers. And then you're going to want Quicksilver after that. It should hopefully lead you to Tallow Worker, but it might not. Um, Tallow Golem Worker. Yep, yeah. and then you want Rotten Flesh again. To give you corpus. Um, movement. Your brains. No, obviously not. Nope. Nope. And then once you've got them three, you want yeah. seeds. And then you'll need some more crafting tables. Oh, fucking hell, I didn't even, I didn't even touch it. <laughs> it's not even showing me a percentage. <laughs> For the uh, four crafting tables I've just used. No, nope, still not enough. Golem worker complete, yeah? Yep. Took me five tables. It took me um, a fair few more than five. <laughs> oh, well, I made 16. 
sick it took me about 16. <laughs> Alright, so leave her again. Yep. Uh, followed by Quicksilver. It's taking a lot of Quicksilver. What's this trying to teach us? Oh, mm -hmm. Arcane Bellows, okay. Get some more Quicksilver. Okay. And then this is Arcane Bellows. Alright, and then once you've got um, them Motus and Impertio done, you want feathers for wind and what, uh, flint or a tool for the instrumentum. And then that will be ta uh, bellows done. Experimentation has led you to discover some interesting facts about the element of air and how to harness it. You think you might be able to craft a bellows that can work by itself. And they work in conjunction with the infernal furnace to make it speed it, it speeds it up. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um I think the easiest way of do it getting what we're after next is we need some chests it's about the easiest way I know of doing this one. you can make them up here Dad, don't forget yeah I could if I had some wood left oh right <laughs> <laughs> no, I keep forgetting I pack more stuff than you don't I because I can't just walk downstairs <laughs> when you've got a little bit of a stock downstairs you don't tend to don't tend to care. <laughs> yeah. I will admit I missed doing this in a uh, project table. <laughs> yeah. When you have to actually put it out individually, you realise how much you use the project table, don't you? Use this green one for that, can't I? Yeah. Yep. Alright, so that should put Vacuous, which is empty, void, and ins insubstantial, and these should be warded jars. Right. So, along with warded jars, is it? Mm, yes. All right. So, put chests in here now, yeah. Yeah. You done that? No, not yet. Another eight. Once you've done that, you want. Have you got some glass on you, or do you need some? Get some more. We got. There you go. I had two stacks on me. So you want glass in there, and that should give you vitreous. And you're going to want, now I only know 
to use soul sand, and I don't know if there's another way for it, but Viclium, and I only know of it through soul sand. Oh, string. You can use string instead of soul sand if you'd rather. I didn't know that. It's typical I would figure that out now that I've just used my soul sand, didn't it? And then once you've done... with something different, Ali, because we're using different stuff. No, no. You've, you've already... You're already locked into warded jars, so... You think you may have discovered a way to reinforce glass with magic. Crafting a container from this glass could theoretically keep all manner of things inside. Human defense protection security next. Yeah, I use leather, just outright leather. It's not the best thing for it in the world, but I've got a cow farm, so I've got as much leather as I need. <laughs> Give me some then. So if you go downstairs, get some. Uh, I've got 17 on me, I think. I think I might have more somewhere in my one of my bags, but. Or did I leave it at the house? I might have left it at the house, but I've got stacks and stacks at home, so. It'll only take me two seconds to run back and get it anyway if need be. Got that, warded jars. Okay, so I'll learn that one. Um. No, I know it's around here somewhere. There we go. Right, if you put your V shards in, I've just got one of equal trade, but I don't know whether you will. It's worth a try though. One of equal trade. Yep. This is amazing how well this is working out. <laughs> <coughs> and then you trade. want. It's have seeds in it, is it? Yeah, seeds and f flint or whatever you've used for a tool. Studying the aspects of permutatio has led you to some interesting conclusions. You think you might be able to create a wand that could exchange one object for another. Uh, this was in one of Direwolf's last let's, uh, single players. You'll have seen him changing stuff out with a wand on his floor, was it? Or wall? Yeah, changing it, yeah. yeah that's, that's what he was using. One good, wand of equal trade. Oh yay! These ones are going to be good. It's going to be my luck now. You don't get what it is I've got. Once you've done that, put a uh, V shards back in. I'm assuming you've still got some. Yeah, I'm running out of them pretty quickly though. Yeah, I've only got three left here. <laughs> I have got more, but I've only got three left. Yeah. Yep, done that. Goggles of revealing. Yep. Now, there are a couple of ways you can get Vism. Uh, you can either use Glowstone, or you'll do is Quicksilver. Depends on which you've got more of. I'm assuming you've got more Glowstone than Quicksilver. This is one of the big annoying ones. Um. <coughs> Books. 
and then you'll need nether wart again for this this one. Uh, need what? Nether wart as well. So you need uh, once you've got your visum and your precantatio full, you want books for your cognitio. Some books. And then you want nether wart for your mutatio. And I'll just quickly run and get some more leather. Oh, typical. This account doesn't take back to the actual house. And I've got some downstairs. Oh, that's alright, I'm already here now. It took me two seconds and brought me teleport book with me. Well, Naomi's teleport book with her. And hers doesn't take me back actually into the house. I have to run down from the village. <clears throat> Can you pause your recording a minute so as I can go and check my own? Yeah, that's fine. 